I'm bringing you this week's live content. We're actually not doing Wednesday Wellness this Minute. We'll do that tomorrow. But I want to bring this video to one of our special members of the clinic family. She requested that we send out some neck stretches for her because she's experiencing some pain in her neck as well as some numbness and or tingling in the hands. And therefore, we thought, why not produce a video so everybody can take advantage of it and learn from it? Christine's obviously here to help today. And so what we want to do is demonstrate with her so I can explain it and you can see it. Now, we want to understand why would the neck be tight in the first place? Why would the hand get numbness and tingling in the first place, right? You always want to ask yourself, what's causing the symptom down here, right? Is it in the hand? Is it in the wrist? A lot of people get carpal tunnel syndrome, but that's a syndrome, right? A syndrome means it's a collection of symptoms that creates a set of symptoms. So if you have entrapment of the nerves or muscles or veins or blood vessels at the elbow, at the shoulder, at the wrist, it just depends. So don't ever let anybody tell you they're going to cut your flexor retinaculum here just because you have some tingling in your hand. It's usually coming from somewhere else. For example, the scalene muscles tend to constrict the uh, blood vessels and the arteries and the nerves coming out of the arm or neck out of, into the arm. And that is oftentimes caused by neurological stress. So you might have, be having trouble holding it all together. Like life is too stressful. Holding it all together, that's where the neck gets tight, okay? Um, some frustration, anger, resentment, disappointments might come into the shoulders with the gallbladder. So your shoulders are up like this because you're frustrated, whatever it might be. So keep that in mind. But there's also can be the immune side of things where your liver and gallbladder might be involved due to maybe some viral stress. So it just depends on what your trigger is. That's why we use muscle testing and kinesiology to find out what your root cause is. So to that end, we're just going to go about through the demonstration now. And so Christine's going to show you how we're going to do this. Two ways to do it. One, you can clasp your hands behind your back and reach like this, or you can reach away from your body. So what we're going to do is demonstrate them both. So Christine's going to stretch the right side of her neck so she's going to reach away and it literally feels like you're reaching away from your body so you feel that pull in the arm and the elbow from there she's going to tip her head back okay so we're going to stretch the anterior scalenes and part of the scm sternocleidomastoid from here she's going to turn her head around always keeping it back as far as she can and she's got some tension in here so she's feeling it and we bring it around and eventually and i'm doing this faster than you should you'd bring your head down here and then you'd imagine you're sticking your nose in your armpit Okay? Now, the caveat to this, or the one thing you want to think about is, as you're going through this motion, if you find, and forgive me, Christine, for pushing your head around, let's say she finds a tension spot here where it's really starting to burn in the elbow or in the shoulder or in the neck, or maybe she feels pain in the neck. She's going to take a nice easy breath there and let her body calm down before she continues around to the next spot. And let's just say right there is more tension. Take a nice easy breath, cleansing, let your body uh, calm down. If you have extra tension, roll your eyes down toward your feet. You don't have to move your chin, but roll your eyes down. That's another neurological key for relaxation. So then she'll just continue around and then drop down eventually once she finds all her tension spots. So we want to get the anterior scalene, the SCM, the middle scalene, the posterior scalene, the upper trap, and the levator scapula, all the muscles that are tied to the neck uh, from the head to the shoulder. Okay. So then if you turn a face that way, we'll just have you clasp your hands behind your back, and then you can see how the, the shoulders open up. So we'll just do her, her left side here, so she'll turn to the left and then tip her head back so you can see it from this angle. And then she's going to slowly, keeping her head far back as she can, rotate around. Now again, you'll stop at the points where they're ten, tense for you, if you will. And you're eventually going to work your way down so you can see what this looks like. And you're going to drop your, we talk about dropping your nose into your armpit, and then you can get all the stretch back here, okay? You can relax now. So now you've seen it from two different directions. One, where you're reaching away from you. Another one is where you're rolling the shoulders back and then doing your stretches. Remember, stop along the way when the points are tender or you feel the tension. If you feel any excessive burning, that's your fascia. That's the connection. That's like the covering over the, the muscle that helps the muscle slide along each other. If you ever um, cook and you cut off a chicken breast or something like that, there's usually a white covering over the muscle. That's the fascia. You have that too. You're not a chicken, fortunately. But you're going to have fascia where there can be adhesions where if imagine your shirt slides up and down just fine, but if you have a stuck point, your shirt's not going to go up and down very well. That's called a fascial adhesion. So that's sometimes you need to get that worked out by, well, Christine's a professional massage therapist, so she could do that for you. But that's a different story for a different day. So we hope this has been beneficial. Feel free to share this with your friends and families. Give us comments. Let us know what's beneficial. As you can see in the description, if you want help finding out the root cause of your problem with your neck tension, whatever it might be, just give us a call. We have that tool for you, okay? Have a great evening.